Today I would like to discuss how you can generate self-signed certificates to uh, use HTTPS on your development machine because a lot of times we want to do HTTPS instead of just regular HTTP. So just to get you in the context, I would suggest that you can look at my video from my website, uh, Two Minute Solution for Cross Origin Request Problem because it shows you how to install HTTP server uh, using NPM. So I already have an HTTP server uh, installed and you can see that in the video and basically the way you run it is just say HTTP server and it will start serving you uh, the files from that particular directory and uh, as I can show you here it is serving HTTP some, some file which just has one button and it's all good. Suppose I wanted to change this to HTTPS, how do you do that? Uh, basically to do that you need uh, OpenSSL so I'm going to show you uh, OpenSSL and it's uh, right now uh, here uh, set up in my directory under user local bin OpenSSL and how to install this is pretty straightforward at least uh, on the Mac and I'm going to just grab the commands OpenSSL and here you can see the command uh, I uh, used to install the OpenSSL is uh, basically uh, brew install OpenSSL and this should be, uh, install the OpenSSL and you should be good to go. Once you have OpenSSL you need the certificate and I'll show you uh, just a single line which can be used to generate that and uh, let me just close this. Uh, this is the command. It will take uh, a key and also a self-signed certificate in just one single line. So I'm going to type this in over here and just kind of go through the uh, sequence as to what you need. And I'm going to type in some information. It's going to ask and I'm going through that. As things you want blank, you can just press dot and uh, you should uh, type in uh, the information and it's all done and it's going to generate the key.pem and the cert.pem file and now to run https all you have to do is http server.s and it will start serving the secure uh, version on the local website and uh, just to access that i can just the https colon and as you can see it is going to start doing that and it's going to say uh, on chrome that uh, i need to basically uh, proceed to localhost unsafe and it's going to go through and you can see my protocol is now HTTPS uh, which is uh, great and you can uh, use it to experiment on your development machine. Again to learn more you can just go to my website and search for various videos. Thanks uh, for watching this short screencast.